We thought that we have seen all the possible ways how to brew coffee with the air press, but then we saw this. What the heck is our way? We definitely need to try it. Hey guys, it's Alex from European Coffee Trip and in this video I want to show you a fun way how to turn your air press into a coffee dripper using the air press funnel and Kalita paper filters. The method came from Rai Murakawa, a mastermind behind the Mellow Drip. For us, it's the 10th way how we can prepare coffee with the air press. Let's start with turning the air press into a coffee dripper. What you need to have is the air press, the original one, the air press funnel, Kalita Wave style flatbed paper filters and the carafe. You place the paper filter into the funnel and use the hexagonal shape of the air press to press the filter into a funnel. Then you fold the edges of the paper filter over the dozer so it doesn't slip down when you remove the air press chamber. Now rinse the paper filter, remove the chamber and here you have it, the air away. It's funny, we have seen air press funnel being used for so many different ways, but this one is probably the most innovative one. Now, you can use it as a regular flatbed Kalita style coffee dripper. Ray suggests a slightly coarser grind setting, so we follow his lead. Also, we use Mellow Drip to assist with pouring. That's not really necessary, you can use your regular pouring style. We use 15 grams of coffee, my daily mix blend of our friends from Rebel Bean. 22 clicks on Commandante Grinder. In total, we pour 240 grams of 93 degrees Celsius water. The bloom was 45 grams and 45 seconds with a steer. Then we were adding about 45 grams of water in pulses using Mellow Drip. And coffee is ready. The total brew time was quite long for our standards, about 3 minutes and 15 seconds. So how does it taste? Not bad really. To have a comparison, we also brew the same coffee with the Tim Wendelbo air press recipe. Our wave coffee was much lighter and it highlighted acidity. The regular air press was much, much sweeter and more round. So do we expect that people start using this method in a big wave and we will see it all around the internet and all around the world? Not really, I don't think that it can really easily be the ease of use of the ERPS itself and we have already nine different methods that are perhaps more suitable for ERPS itself but it's indeed a really nice experiment and I think part of exploring specialty coffee is really experimenting and finding new ways that can trigger some new ideas and maybe it will trigger some new ideas for us and we can experiment more in our new office and new studio. So uh, thank you guys for watching. I'm looking forward to see you in the next video very, very soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.